If you haven't seen the video we put up last Thursday, definitely check that out. It explains why we haven't been putting out any content anywhere for the past two weeks, and that's because we felt like we needed to take a step back and use our microphone not for ourselves, but for the voices that definitely need to be heard a lot more than ours right now. We're gonna start putting our content out again regularly starting next week, but until then, there's a lot of stuff that you can check out that we put in the notes below, including places that you can go to help out right now with what's going on. There's a lot of people who still need our help. If you can't even get out to protest, there's still so many ways that we can be involved to help push forward change. There's already been change starting to happen. There's already show that what's been going on and the entire world coming together as it has is actually moving the needle. Things are actually starting to change and we can't slow up. We can't you know, put a victory flag in the ground and say that we've done it. This has got to keep going for the months and years ahead, like I said in the last video. So please check out the links below. There's a new video from Emmanuel Acho as well, which I put his first one in there last week. He has a new one out where he talks to Matthew McConaughey and I think it's really excellent. So definitely check that out. There's also some documentaries and films that you can watch for free right now. So even if you don't have Netflix or Amazon or whatever it is, there are several things that you can get for free right now and we put links for those down below as well. So please check out links for all of that. But now we're gonna get into the three winners of the last stay at home challenge, which of course was judged by my friend Scott Glasgold. So now we're gonna jump into it with the first one. Nurses like to say it's wanted by a little girl close to the lift. Uh, nonsense, of course. Nothing to, uh. Huh? Hey! Where are you going? Uh, uh, we're. We're not supposed to be up here! When do the nurses see this little girl to hide? Uh, I don't know, like 72 maybe? Can you, can you just. Number three, Floor 11, Ryan Bart. This one's fantastic. I'm always blown away by what an animator can do in such a short period of time. Uh, it's a poignant, uh, really thoughtful, meaningful story. What do you think? Yeah, I agree with you. The time that they had, they didn't have too much time. They made it beautiful. The animation style was amazing, and I really enjoyed it. Me too. I have a question for you. Did you think that the uh, main character looked like me a little bit? Yes, I did. When I was watching, I was like, that that looked like you, yeah. It's true, but just the same. This one's fantastic. I would like it even if it didn't look like me. Uh, all the way to the end, a really uh, thoughtful, compelling piece that's very well done. Yeah, there's so much meaning in the story. I loved it. I really want to see more from this person. Hey, me too. Would love to see what he does next. Yes. It's really good. Cyber Sensei. Don't worry, kid. We got. What the fuck? Number two, pop-up. I thought it was really fun. I like the futurism in it. I think we can all sort of relate to uh, pop-ups and when our pop-up blockers fail us. Uh, had a nice sort of uh, look into the future of uh, where we're headed maybe with AR. Uh, good twist in the middle. And then of course it had a solid tag. I think with all these one minute shorts, if you can have a solid tag at the end, that sort of encapsulates the new normal of what your narrative has created, uh, or I should say new abnormal in this one, uh, it goes a long way. Really enjoyed it. Interior, John's house. John walks to his home. He looks to his right to discover a strange object that's sitting on his desk. Did you take that garbage out? <laughs> what? Take that garbage out. After John picks up the strange object from his desk, he realizes 
that this object may be the very thing of saving. It don't look like the grass has been cut. You need to cut the grass. John. Get the door! I could throw it into your yard. Answer the phone. And when you hang up, I need you to go to the store. Are you crying? My number one is Writing on Lockdown by Dylan Martin. Uh, to me, this perfectly, perfectly captures the moment that many of us are in. If you are safer at home, but not home alone, the plight of this protagonist is very evident. Uh, whether you are writing or doing any other form of work, there are multitude of challenges uh, that we all face while being stuck at home, and it is nearly impossible to get anything done. And this short captures it perfectly in a really fun way, very relatable, my favorite of the bunch. Well done. So again, a huge congrats to the three of you that won. We're gonna be contacting you guys right away to get you your prizes. And a massive thank you to Scott Glasgold again for taking the time to jump on and judge these, take a look at them. Scott is a manager and producer with an insane amount of knowledge and talent. So definitely check out the links for where you can follow and find out more about him below as well. And this was our last stay at home challenge like this for now. We're working on something right now that I won't, I can't get into detail with yet because we haven't figured everything out just yet. But the whole idea behind the challenges is to give you guys a platform to get your work seen and to hopefully push towards something else. A lot of your stuff that you send in, I send to some of my own networking to show off your work, hoping that something would come of it. And we have an idea of what could potentially lead some people to their ultimate goal. And that's all I'm gonna say for now. We're still figuring out the details of what that's gonna look like and how we can do it exactly. But I'm very excited for what we're trying to put together and we'll announce more details on that in the next month or two, I think. So keep an eye out for that. And until next time, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat. <laughs>